What's up gamers, it's your boy Boar here and today I have some pretty exciting news to share with you. I was on Bulgarian national television talking about Overwatch 2 in a segment called Gamer. It was pretty exciting, it was pretty fun. The segment itself is around 20-30 minutes plus another podcast that is 20 minutes. I go over both of them on my Twitch and that is why I decided to take the VOD out and upload it on YouTube. There will be no editing, maybe some minimal cuts here and there. Overall, I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, you can go check out the videos themselves. I know they're in Bulgarian, but maybe this is a great opportunity to learn bulgarian and you will learn some bulgur lore in this video as well without further to do let's get into the video i'm gonna i'm gonna hello 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 gamers today i'm gonna i'm gonna translate this new segment i was on talking about overwatch 2 on a big news channel in in bulgaria it was pretty cool it was in the capital i'm gonna talk about it <laughs> i'm gonna I'm going to translate it and, you know, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, it was fun. There's a lot of cool things happening in there. We played some Overwatch. I talked about some Overwatch. I'm not going to watch the entire thing. I'm just going to skip to the segments where I'm in. And I think I'm in most of the segments. Whatever, whatever. FIFA, Overwatch 2. Are they describe, they're describing Overwatch 2. Uh, this is, I think this was... Mm, Whose gameplay was that? Was that my gameplay? Yeah, that's my gameplay. I recorded gameplay footage for them. This is my gameplay on fucking Soldier. I played terribly. It was really funny. I recorded it at home and I sent them to them. Uh, the show is basically a gamer show on TV. And I asked them as well. I was really confused because I don't think gamers watch television, you know? So I was confused a bit. And uh, I, it, they were still really nice people, and it was cool, cool to be there. What if I get DMCA'd? That's me. What's up? That's me, a boy. That's uh, they say my names, and that's the host, and that's another gamer boy. They talk about how I was a. Uh, the leader in the Bulgarian Overwatch team. I'm a Twitch streamer and a top 10 tank player. That's me, what do you think about this lad? I bought this shirt on the same day. Oh look, I have a ring as well. Giga lad. Oh look at these shoes, these shoes are fucking banging. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, Sergei is my real name. Okay, so they basically introduced me there, and then she basically started saying stuff like, oh, okay, here's Bogor, you know, whatever, whatever. And, uh, yes, yeah, Sergey is my real name. And she was like, okay, I heard that you're going to be basically examining me later, giving me an exam, right? Because she has a gameplay segment later on. And um, she was talking about how she has played CS and she asked me to compare CS to Overwatch for her. Like, basically, what's the difference between Overwatch and the other first person shooters? Here I explain about tank roles, support roles. Mm -hmm. I was explaining the concept of healing in Overwatch because you can heal in Overwatch, right? In Overwatch you can heal. Basic concept. And... She was like, oh, now I can choose a hero. I was like, yes, yes, you can. You can choose a hero now. Mm -hmm. um, Overwatch 
here I was explaining about tank support and then I was explaining how DPS also exists and DPS is basically this role that you know runs like out with the AK-47 right and um just does the most amount of damage. Hey, AWP, this is the one that I'm going to kill. This is the one that I'm going to kill. This is the one that I'm going to kill. This is the I was explaining how it works in the combinations. You have two supports, two tanks, and one... No, I'm sorry, two supports, two DPS, and one tank. One tank is more and two DPS. Ясно. Малко no. повече здраво ще видя според мен с Overwatch, отколкото с CS. Да. <laughs> Сергей, кажи ми кога започна и как започна този твой път с Overwatch, от кога следиш разработката й? She asks me here, basically she first answers that she, this is going to be a little bit confusing for her, because uh, I didn't explain it that well, but, uh, and it's going to take her some time to get into it, and then she said, she asked me, how did I begin my Overwatch journey? Did you explain objectives? No. My fucking, my fucking face. Sergey, tell me when... Започна и как започна този твой път с Overwatch? От кога следиш разработката й? Почна да играя Overwatch още в петата, най-първата Overwatch. I was explaining when I started playing Overwatch, I started, I started uh, playing Overwatch in the beta, basically. Overwatch beta, 2016-та май беше. И реално си купих играта първия ден още. And I basically explained that I bought the game in the very first day. Тогава я играя доста стабилно. Аз бях решил, ако трябва да съм честен, бях решил, че ще направя някаква кариера от това. Защото Blizzard винаги правят супер популярни игри. И реших, че тази игра също ще бъде супер популярна. И реших да се фокусирам много силно на тази игра. And uh, I was like, back in the day, I was basically explaining. Um, I was basically explaining. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard for me to focus with chat. And also I'm being very self-conscious about the way I speak Bulgarian. Because I haven't listened to myself speak Bulgarian very often. And I'm really cringing at myself speaking Bulgarian. But anyways, I was basically explaining how when I started playing Overwatch, I was questioning... No, no I wasn't questioning, but I was thinking that this is going to be a really popular game and I can make something happen out of it, basically. Even before it came out. The idea was that Blizzard always makes banger games and Blizzard always makes the games pop off super hard. So I decided this is going to be the game I focus on. That was the answer to the question of, you know, how, why did you choose Overwatch? How did you choose Overwatch even? And I was explaining how I decided to do it professionally and streaming wise as well. Um, вече трета седмица тече затворената бета на Overwatch 2 мултиплеер компонента по-конкретно. You can hear me, uh, you can hear me pop my knuckles, not my knuckles, but my, my fingers. And uh, here he talks about Overwatch 2 and says that maybe, hopefully... Yeah, right now there's the Overwatch 2 beta and he was like, hopefully Blizzard learned something before and is actually improving on the beta and I think here he asks me, uh, what do you think about the beta? Overwatch 2 multiplayer component po konkretno vrvi kam svoja logičen kaj možete za kova beta še si zemat pulki nadjavame se blizak tot pa koje so vidjali od slučivoto se um, no I might as well just become an English speaker I might as well just become an English speaker I might as well just become an English speaker What do you think about the big changes for you in the second part? And are they good for you? For me, personally I was talking about how basically he continued on with how the which changes do you like the most and I was explaining I was like I really like the changes and how it's a 5v5 not a 6v6 so I was explaining how before it was 12 people, now it's 10 people. And, uh, game. and I was explaining that I really like it because it allows me to be a lot more aggressive. And a lot more control over things. And how before I had to, you know, 
share a tank space with another tank player, which I didn't like. I love how they added so many clips of me dying. I think that's really funny. The editors, the editors looked at all the footage and they're like, yeah, this clip of him dying, that's good. We're gonna add that. And that clip of him dying specifically looks great to me. Let's add that. No idea what's happening. I won't choose anything else. I'm choosing this clip of him dying. And I'm gonna choose more clips of him dying because that is big gameplay. Това е нещо, което много ми харесва. Има по-малко крауд контрол в играта. Да. В CS като цяло няма толкова много крауд контрол, а тук крауд контрол е нещо като в моба игрите, като лигане. This ghost is so confused, because I'm using so many fucking terms that I cannot explain in Bulgarian. I have no clue how to even explain them in Bulgarian. And I'm like, I'm using crowd control in Bulgarian, CC and stuff. And she's not really a hardcore gamer. She's like, yes, very interesting war. I mean, she was really cool, but, you know, it's like, it's like if a quantum physicist starts explaining quantum physics to me. <laughs> it's like really confusing. I'm sure she understands some of the terms, but... Yeah, because how do you define crowd control in Bulgarian? You know what I mean? If For the non-English speakers, like, would you ever use crowd control? Outside, like, would you ever translate CC into your native language, right? Right? Like, it makes no sense. What do, what do I, you know, what, like, what do I say there? Like, what do I, what do you, how do I translate that even? Control of the crowd? It makes no sense. What crowd are you controlling? Of course, no. So I'm using the English ones, I think. I mean, the show is called Gamer after all. И това също така ми харесва, което означава, че мога да си играя играта постоянно, без да се притеснявам от това някой да му спира да играя. And I was explaining how I really like their, uh, like, I really enjoy the fact that there is less crowd control in the game, which allows me to play the game a lot more without being stopped all the time for no reason. This crowd control. Um, and here he explains what crowd control means. Yeah, because it's more for really casual gamers, you know, this, this, TV host, she's a really popular TV host in Bulgaria, not really a gamer, and because uh, it's really, like, I'm still confused over what it is it, what is it focused at, like, what are you trying to do with it, in the sense that, um, like, having a gamer show on TV is really weird because gamers don't watch TV, right? Uh, but they're trying to push for this casual audience which is okay i guess we'll see how it goes it's a pretty new show good night pebbles anyways here he explains uh here he explains about crowd control бетата и като цяло ще бъда в Overwatch 2, за да е по-динамична и по-агресивна играта. Точно така. Доколкото разбирам и на Бога му харесва факта, че вече не споделя танкската позиция yeah. с още един човек. No. И вече са само по един танк във всеки матч, което пък умножава отговорността върху ролята. Това не е проблем. Okay. 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 Тоест, отчитате, че има не I need to to say R. 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 It kind of makes me cringe that I can't say R. And here is a question where she asks me why are there so many jokes online that Overwatch 2 is the same game as Overwatch 1? I, that, that is the, the killer question right there, right? That is, that is the question right there. This is what everyone expects. And everyone asks, you know? And that's the, that's the thing. And here I basically explain that many of the people that don't play the game Overwatch. Many of the people that don't play Overwatch don't really care about these changes She has bigger feet than me She has boots on It's like <laughs> She has boots on <laughs> Or even if she does, who cares? And I was explaining here that new people don't care about these small changes, they want to see more heroes and they want to see more maps. Put more game modes and so on. Something big and explosive. 
а, като цяло в момента е да, м- експериментална до някаква степен. And here I was expre- expressing the fact that the beta is more experimental in the sense that you don't get these big changes, uh, big heroes or big releases, um, but you get more experimental stuff like the 5v5 and stuff. Actually, my feet are the biggest there because you know, because I have a, because I'm really talented. You know what they say about men with big feet? Look, look at my feet. If I was wearing boots there, the entire, the entire place would be my feet. Uh, and, and I was explaining here that people make these memes because they don't see the big picture about the entire game because they don't care. Кажи ми кой е твой любим герой и какви промени. I didn't even let her finish. I think you can I I think you understand what's happening here as well. Те не виждат голямата гледна точка на нещата. Кажи ми кой е твой любим герой и какви промени на Just instantly wins. <laughs> Giga based. Basically, she started asking me what's your favorite hero, and she was continuing the sentence with like, what changes did you like, and what changes did he get? And I like even before she even like finished her sentence, I instantly said Winston. The biggest ego of the chat. She's laughing because I'm like, <laughs> I shoot it up. Winston, he toy gaunu pretty. Um, he was just one attack. I was explaining how Winston had only one attack before. Which can attack multiple people around him, like in front of him, with electricity. And now, like I like to say, he has a sniper. Which allows him to charge up his right leg. But basically, explaining how the right leg works in a more casual way. I was explaining how he's an Overwatch League mate. And I was explaining how now she asked me about the new hero. And I was like, yes, there is a new hero. There's Sojourn. And I was explaining how she's from Canada. And then I was explaining to her how she has a mechanic like an Apex where she can slide. And I asked her, have you played Apex? She instantly said no. No. <laughs> no. I was like, fuck. She's <laughs> like, no, I haven't played Apex. And I was explaining the slide. Yes, oh, they actually showed the sliding. Yeah, the hero has two attacks. I explained it badly, but her left click charges up and then she can shoot her right click. Button, koito e, um, koito laser. Koito Donald is explaining how it's like a laser. And I was explaining that if you hit a headshot with it, you can insta kill. Koito is very interesting. Uh, edno nešto, no, edno druga ability. Tia puska edno kato orb, edno kato topche. To so and then I was explaining how she has a orb that gets bigger once it hits an enemy and slows enemies and deals damage. И позволява на този снайпер да се зарежда лазера автоматически без да стреля и това е позволява да стреля много пъти от този лазер в рамките на 10 секунди. And then I was explaining her ult basically. But like, she can charge up. Мега е доста забавен, доста интересен, на хората им харесва и според мен ще видим доста повече игране от нея, когато хората научат как да играят този герой. And I was basically explaining that I really like the character and I think a lot of people are going to play the character when people will learn how to play the character. <laughs> and she was like, I really, I think I chose my character. 
Еми да, Добре, хайде да взема да пробвам с новия герой. Да. Дали ще ми се получи? Right? Ако имаш последни въпроси към Сергея, защото започваме ами, с Overwatch. Да, мен беше интересно, че спомена PV компонента за теб като... Нали, така ще впиша в тази рамка доминиращо PvP, играчи човек с интерес към състезателната сцена на Overwatch. А, пречи ли ти, че се създава изобщо PvE компонент? За да обясня на зрителите, разбира се, PvE компонент, значи... <laughs> look at my face. I look so uh, player vs Environment, това е uh, съкъщението от демек играчи срещу компютърно контролирани опоненти uh, в нещо като кооперативно изживяване. За... Basically what he's asking me here is do you Uh, what do you think about the PV aspect of the game as a more competitive person and what's your thought about the PV? PvP или player versus player, което са играчите един също друг. И по принцип това са два много трудни. And he was explaining how you know you have the casual gamers and you have the more competitive gamers and they're like, oh, you know, they don't like each other and stuff. една трудна съвкупност да имаш в една игра, защото обикновено And it's hard to, you know, appeal to both the PV gamers and the PvP gamers in one singular game отнема ужасно много усилия да създадеш интересен. Because it's hard to make a PV aspect, a PV game and make a PVP game as well. PV компонент и ужасно много а, затруднение, разбира се, да имаш балансиран и състезателен PVP. The Blizzard actually doesn't hate slavs. I had a confirmation from Blizzard themselves. They said to me directly, I, we actually really like slav people. <laughs> Confirmed from Bore, Blizzard doesn't hate Slavs. Пи компонент, много малко игри се опитват да балансират двете неща едновременно. Да, точно с оглед на това, въпросът ми е а, грешат ли, че залагат на PvE компонента според. And here at the end, he ends the question with Do you think it's a mistake that they are putting in so much effort into the PvE content and gambling on it at the end of the day? And should they focus on the PvP aspect only? с тази втора част. Трябваше ли Overwatch да остане ексклюзивно PvP игра? Аз, поред мен, въобще не грешат. Понеже... Okay. Heroes explaining that I don't think they're at a mistake. I don't think they're mistaking at all. Е, аз като човек, който играе само PvP. Uh, in the sense that I don't think it's a mistake because as a person that plays only PvP, I think I shouldn't be greedy and understand that the casual gamers will keep the game You know, popular and alive and give me more viewership. Thank you. They like competing and stuff. That's super interesting. Yeah, basically I explained here that even though I really like the competitive aspect, I need to not be an egoist and understand that you need casual gamers to keep your game alive. Хората, които ще държат играта жива като цяло са casual играчите, играчите, които искат този PV компонент. The people that want the PV content basically, they're the ones that are going to come and play and watch my stream. Това и аз ще спечеля, защото повече хора ще ме гледат мене, дали е когато компитвам и когато стримвам. И според мене не само за тях е направен този PV компонент, но и за мене, защото и на мен ми е интересно да го разсъкам. И мисля, че накрая всички ще спечелят. And basically how everyone's gonna win at the end. Един кежуал играч сега ще, <laughs> ще се впусне в Overwatch приключението, така че да видим дали ще се справя. Ботве, прак... <laughs> Here I try to teach her how to play Overwatch and it's the funniest shit ever. Uh... Айде сега да видим как ще се справя аз с Overwatch 2. Бог! Пред момент да ме напътса през цялото време. Като се О, много, ми, много ми харесва уражието. Така. И сега. Да. Това е в момента тренировка, нали? Това е тренировка срещу Добре. ботове. Практис Рейндж се нарича. Ако продължиш напред, там има едни такива червени ботове. Добре. Може да ги стригаш. Я yeah, basically explaining to her, you move forward and you shoot these red bots, okay? Срега бутон, зареждаш 10 минути. No, no makeup. Oh-ho. И... Надей, това е моята игра, да знаеш. Да, аз съм сигурен. And she was like, this is my game, and I was like, I'm sure it is. И тя като цяло, за разлика от CS-а, както видиш, има различния бит. Има Shift, има E. And I was explaining the differences between CS and Overwatch, for example. The elusive bore stream, indeed. И сега кога бери, това е нещо различно. Добре, чакай да го пробвам това. С Shift и... Let's go Shift, може... And I was explaining how to use your abilities, and I was like, okay, you shift, and then you jump. Bam. Натиснеш Space. И да си жамш на мапа. И фукин джамс. 
so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, you then you shift and then you jump and then you jump off the map, I guess. <laughs> she just fucking eats herself. Бе, ако може без да без да се самоубивам, нали ще бъде много хубаво. И все пак тази игра доста ме кефи. Искам да кажа на колегите, че че да скоро ми пропуска да игра само разни детски игри. Ще here she's just talking about like точно така. How everyone has been telling her to play right uh these childish games and uh she's super tired of them and this is a real game. Сергей, мисля, че съм готова за битка. Тега си ще стрелява. Аз съм готова. Аз съм готова. Аз съм готова. Така. Колко човека сме в отбор? Пет. Вече е пет или бяха шест. Аз съм казвам, че е добре. Аз съм казвам, че имаш генжи. Просто ти съпорт героите. Там с плюсчетата. Аз съм казвам, че имаш ДПС и танка ти е най-вряво. Добре. Друг нещо ли знам? Ще разберем след малко. Ще казвам, че имаш ДПС и танка ти е най-вряво. Добре. Друг нещо ли знам? Ще разберем след малко. Ще казвам, че имаш ДПС и танка This is really funny. Да не ме убие някой 13 годишен на първата минута. It's really funny. Откъде ще дойдат сега? Не, не, не. Просто ти бай направи. Ти се атакуваш ти от... Actually, she had a moment. So basically, we went to the practice range and she picked... She chose some heroes and stuff. And she picked Soldier and instantly and she's like, I really like this hero, right? And I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. That's a new hero. And she... Clicked on Mercy next, right? And I was like, oh no, is she gonna fall into the Mercy trap, right? Like, girl gamer playing Mercy, right? And her instant reaction of Mercy was like, what is this dog shit hero? This character is so boring, fuck this, I'll go back to Soulja. <laughs> base. Giga base. <laughs> Giga base. Boy, you go to the left. Okay. You go to the left. They kill you there. They kill you. This is, uh... Yeah, I was, uh... Yep. Gameplay. Just look at my face. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she got... She got rolled... Like, basically, what happened is... She played against people which are much better than her because, uh, it's, you know... First, I don't know if there's MMR in a watch too, but if there is, she's playing on my main account, right? And, uh, yeah. She's kind of getting rolled. That's what. That's what happened. She was getting giga rolled. Like she's just sitting there chilling, <laughs> and then bam, Doomfist comes in and he kills her. No. Eh. Okay. He's the guy who fell. Check him. And I was explaining this character to revive you. And she, she tried to kill her own mercy here. Thought Cold War. So, I think Doomfist rolls out now and kills, him, kills her again. Oh. She's like, why is Doomfist jumping like that? What is, he, what is this character doing? And like, uh, she was like, why is he doing that? I was like, because he does his abilities. Well, they don't have access to the beta, you know. <laughs> Here, basically the interaction was, uh, he, she was like, where is he? And I was like, right behind you. And she's like, behind me? I was like, what the fuck? And she just turns around and is like, where? Oh, no! But that's the... Oh, but she's going to kill you. Yes! No. No, she's going to kill you. No. Here... Okay, I love this interaction. No, but I... No. No. Okay. I'll translate the exact interaction here. But that's the... Okay. She's like, oh, no. She's going to kill you. I was like, you're gonna kill him? He's dead? No. And she's like, yes? Did I really kill him? No. I was like, yes? And she was like, wait, me? I killed him? And I was like, no. No. I was like, no. I, you know? I'm sorry. Participate, man. I was like, you participated at least. Good, good job. Good, good, good assist. No. And then she dies. Да, но няма проблем, защото успяхте да капнете, в смисъл да преземете първата точка. Ще ги отрол бай да дума. Какво стана? Ами той ти скочи и да те уби. Така. Да. Я досах се. Да бъде. Така. She just kept getting fucking rolled out by fucking get quaked on fans and killed every single time. 
And then she says, I'm angry. I'm going to go pop off now. And she was like, didn't you say that you like aggressive players? And I was like, yes, yes, I did. Като капитан обичаш агресивните играчи, обичаш агресивната игра. Ама в момента си играеш в посока. Така ли? Да. И тук тя стара да върши към тази инициална спон и казах, ти върши към тази спон. 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 И тук тя върши към тази спон. She was losing her mind because she was getting wrong. I was like, because these people are new players and you're a new player. But here's the funny part. Here, it was my turn to play soldier. And I'll be honest, their setup was giga shit. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> their mouse. Let me show you. Can you see my mouse? You can't see my mouse. Wait, can I have my cursor be shown? It was really funny because their fucking sensitivity. No wonder she couldn't do much. Okay. It was like this. Okay, watch this. You see my mouse? This was their sense. Whoa, wait. It was like this. It was like I couldn't control this shit. You know, it's crazy. It was crazy. I couldn't name. I, I played super badly. I played super badly. But let's watch me getting rolled. Okay. <laughs> She was explaining the funny interaction of how, you know, she's playing on my account and everyone sees me playing the game, right? And they think I'm playing and they're like, why is Boris sitting there AFK and doing nothing and dying over and over again? <laughs> And here, and here I died to the Doomfist, insta-killed by him. And she was like, weren't you supposed to be good at this game? What the fuck happened? And I was explaining to her basically though, I was doing some stupid shit. And I was like, you know, you know, to be honest, I'm kind of washed up. I can just give you the account, to be honest. What, what is the point? You know, you're just better than me. Look at this gameplay. I think I get a kill here. I got a kill. Bravo! I got a kill. I popped off. If I hit that shot, maybe. Look at this gameplay. Okay. I got another kill. Wait, I got two kills. I was basically, wait, I got two kills. But I was inting there, to be honest. I should have been like, this This sense is impossible to play on. That's crazy. Yeah, and here, and here she was like, you know, you're doing well, right? You're doing well, you're popping off and stuff. And I was like, yeah, you know, for 6,000 hours gameplay, I, I think I'm doing well. For a person that has over 6,000 hours, I think I'm doing well. Yes, I have Overwatch. Yes, I have 6,000 hours. Is it a good game? Yes, it's a good game. And I'm curious where... 
са тръгнали какъв е фокуса на Overwatch 2 сравнение с Overwatch 1. Супер! Мисля, че със сигурност вече спечелихте един нов играч на тази игра, защото да, просто ми хареса. And she was like, uh, I really like the game, la 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 la, and then they have a FIFA segment, and then everyone was really happy. Nothing really interesting too much happened here, like, except her and me inting our brains out. But now we have a podcast, which I think was more fun. Because there we actually talked about stuff, including talking about myself. Holy fuck. Да, да, контакт ми в Discord. Ние с Влади сме твърдо решени да знаем повече за него, така че вече сме го So they're basically talking about me here, right? This is the podcast and they're basically uh, talking about me and stuff. They're asking me questions. Um, it's pretty interesting. I had to give them these little things about myself, like things I talk about. Uh, not talk about, things that describe me in a way. And one of the things that I said was I'm a little bit unstable, right? And she even asks me, I, I'm just gonna play it. She even asks me, what do you mean unstable? She was like, uh, are you comfortable? I was like, yes, pretty comfortable. Well, basically, I asked them what questions are you going to ask me. <laughs> so basically, I explained here, you know, the question is, um, again, what I said a moment ago. She asked me, why did you describe yourself as a little unstable? And I was like, well, I don't really think a person that has over 6,000 hours in this game can be classified as stable. <laughs> no, well, this is uh, Bulgaria search, searches talent. Uh, Bulgaria's got talent, basically, because I've been to Bulgaria's got talent. And that was one of those things that I put in for my description. And she was like, and they made a little joke here where it's like, Bulgaria's got tank talent. And here I was explaining, you know, like I have over 6,000 hours in the game and I also go to university and I also stream. And I was like, it doesn't add to the stability of things. And she was like, I think uh, a lot of gamers, a lot of hardcore gamers, all of them are unstable. He asks me, do you think, do you, the, the question is basically, do you think that you have to be unstable when you're a hardcore gamer and a professional player? And here I explain that if you're a streamer and you're uh, unstable, it makes you a lot more interesting. <laughs> and that uh, differentiates you from the other people. And I was like, yeah, being a pro gamer for sure makes you a little unstable. Artistichnata živka sushno se točno v tajnosti. Kako se spravaš i s univerziteta i s svički drugi angažimenti? And she was like here she asks me how do you manage university and real life and you know everything else streaming and whatever else you have in life and I was like cyber sigurnost pri tva. And she, he was like yeah cyber security. Oče cyber sigurnost. And I was like yes da. I study cyber security. Da. And here I was explaining that I was the police of the cyber, cyber, uh, the cyber, um, fuck it, I don't know how to say it in, book, in English, in the, in the, in the digital world, right? And here I basically answered that. Uh, I was like, how, how do I manage? I don't manage. I, I'm not managing everything at once. It's uh, impossible. 
един, който си признава в това студио и казва, бе, не се справям с всички. And she's like, yeah, here, at least we have one person that, uh, that says the truth, that they are not, be, not able to manage their time. Казват, успявам да балансирам. Да, не. Има ли желание, има и начин. Да, понякога трябва да се сбогувам с планета, понякога трябва да се сбогувам с други неща, но... Sometimes I need to sacrifice sleep, sometimes I need to sacrifice other things. Are they gamers? Who are gamers? She's, she played some games, the other guy is a gamer. С тая нестабилна жилка, обратното на себе си ли си в игра, където трябва да си танка и да си лидера и да си водача на отбора? Там ли си хладнокръвен или там влиза въпрос? Here he asks me, when I am unstable, right? Um, do I, like, wait, let me Tank. ask. Where I, okay, so when I'm in game where I have to be a tank player and I need to be a leader, do I, am I cold blooded there? And here I answer who would you listen to? A person that is absolutely normal or a crazy person that is a little bit unstable? Война или в борба. Човек, който е леко нестабилен или човек, който е напълно спокоен. Аз лично. And he was explaining, you know, would you listen to a calm person or an unstable person, you know, a crazy person? And I would personally listen to the crazy person, not the calm person. Бих слушал нестабилния, защото ми звучи доста по-страшен. Плюс това той си каза в предаването, че харесва агресивната игра, агресивните играчи и той. And here she was like, yeah, he said that he likes the aggressive people, aggressive players and stuff. Like a captain. And she was like, I really like this guy. Here they asked me, why do I stream in English and not in Bulgarian? And here I basically go into... Hello, Ikea, by the way. Uh, here I basically explain the fact that I will just let it play and then explain it. Лично според мен е това да стримам само на български. Нищо, че ми позволява в началото да разрасна повече. So basically I, I was saying that yes, maybe streaming in Bulgarian will help me grow bigger at the beginning, but имаме по такава фокусирана аудитория в България за геймери. I was, yeah, I was basically explaining, yeah, it's gonna help me grow in the beginning. We have a more focused uh, audience in Bulgaria. Те, те са, нали, те са познават и спомагат и на друг. Проблема е, за мен лично е, че uh, мисля, че има някакъв лимит. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining that I think personally that there is a limit if you stream to a Bulgarian audience. There is a limit, uh, there is a hard cap, and you can't escape that limit if you're a Bulgarian streamer. Because the audience in Bulgaria isn't that big. You know, there's not that many people that speak Bulgarian compared to English. That I'm gonna hit a limit at some point. And that limit is never gonna allow me to grow any bigger. And I was saying that I don't wanna have 500 viewers, you know, when I hit my peak, I wanna have thousands of viewers. Манастира тесен за моята душа е. Точно така. И като цяло не искам да стигна този момент, в който реша да разрасна още повече. And that I don't want to hit the moment where I decide to grow more because, you know, I've hit my limit and I'm hungry for more. And once I hit that limit and I get to that point where I want to grow more, it's going to be impossible for me because if I start speaking English, I'm going to lose all of my audience. В дългосрочен план наистина е като че ли дълновидното решение, ако искаш да го направиш на кариера наистина. By the way, if anyone wants to, like, I know how many viewers we have, but this is the main episode and the podcast. You can watch them, you can leave comments and likes. If this video pops off, I might get invited to more stuff. Um, I, I think this probably was the first time I was on the news. I mean, I was in Bulgaria's Got Talent and we talk about this here as well. Uh, but, you know, me solo being on the news is probably the first time. I think that the most Bulgarian uh, I actually tried to give a compliment 
through about her shoes, but she didn't hear me. And you know, I was like, okay, I'm just, you know, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I got done with about it, and I was like, fine, okay. Because I thought her shoes were really cool. Когато са се справили пред подобен избор и много по-малко варианти имаш тук да си успешен създател. Here I'm looking at the camera. Not the camera, but the, the monitor. Защото... Looking at my gameplay. They actually left in the fractal sponsorship. Не са толкова много. Тук имаш възможността да си голяма риба в малко езеро. And here he explains the concept of, you know, you're gonna be a small fish in a big uh, river and, you know... Както се казва. And just gonna get this... Like, you're gonna be a small fish in a small pond, but on the west you're gonna be a small fish in a giant sea, basically. And here he explains, I don't think he is shy of representing Bulgaria. Равнище в състезателни игри, така че по-скоро е въпроса на. Не, 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 about my biggest competitions I've played on and what I like my experience in these competitions in general or events. Uh, yeah, your videos on TV. Играх Overwatch професионално по едно време. Сега вече не толкова, понеже се фокусирам на университета повече. Okay, I like I kind of fix my talking later on the recording, which is good. Uh, I don't cringe anymore. Maybe I got used to my voice in Bulgarian, but here I'm explaining about how I kind of stopped playing competitively, even though I'm going to play Open Division today, but it's not really serious, it's for the memes. And, um... <laughs> Hearthstone Tournament. And that I don't really have time for it because I have university, university, because there's too many things at once. Yeah, and the university, but I was presented, for example, with my team in Tier 2, which is Contenders. I was explaining about contenders uh, here too. I was oh, I was explaining that I've always represented myself as a Bulgarian. I've never hit the fact that I'm Bulgarian. And it's important for me to express the fact that I am a Bulgarian and attract Bulgarians in general or Bulgarian Bulgarian community. And that I'm one of the best players in Overwatch and especially in Winston. And I was basically explaining that I feel like me expressing the fact that I'm Bulgarian might motivate some Bulgarians to pursue, you know, maybe something in Overwatch or like maybe they will feel inspired by the fact that this Bulgarian dude is doing these cool things. Мотивира, да, точно така. И мисля, че е доста забавно и интересно. Те реално хора са му разпознавали на живо. Нищо ще са към не толкова популярна игра в Overwatch. And I was like, yeah, people actually recognize me in real life, even though I don't really play a really popular game. Especially in Bulgaria. And that before Contenders, I played in LAN events in Switzerland. I actually have medals here in my apartment. Uh, some bill, uh, I started speaking Bulgarian, I'm sorry. And that I've been to six LAN events. And that I think we won every single LAN event uh, for a year straight. I feel like a psychopath, man. Look at my fucking... Look at my gay towards him. I'm just... Like, I'm gonna fucking... I look like I'm gonna murder him. What? <laughs> Последния, как го кажа, последния миг едва ли не избухне Батл Роял, като 
мания сред First Person шутерите. Вмъкна се точно като последната голяма вълна преди да удари Battle Royale. И тогава това даде шанс и пространство на Overwatch да диша и да намери своя собствена публика. Сега обаче Overwatch 2 се изправя в една реалност, в която има такава лавина и толкова много популярен и толкова много... Окей, what the fuck is he talking about? I wasn't paying attention. И тогава това последния миг едва ли не преди да избухне Battle Royale като мания сред First Person шутерите. I think he's talking about how Overwatch came out just before Fortnite and Battle Royale started popping off. Точно като последната голяма вълна преди да удари Battle Royale. И тогава това даде шанс и пространство на Overwatch да диша и да намери своя собствена публика. Сега обаче Overwatch 2 се изправя в една реалност, в която има такава лавина и толкова много популярен и толкова много силен акцент върху Battle Royale като... So basically what he's saying is and asking in general how Overwatch came out just before the Battle Royale craze and it managed to gather an audience of people that really like the specific type of gameplay and how now with how Overwatch 2 is coming out is coming out in the middle of the whole Battle Royale and free to play craze and I think the question ends with how do I think Overwatch is gonna live up, you know, how is Overwatch gonna survive in this uh this place, in this gaming, you know, economy, gaming um you know situation we're at. Imali effect vorku interest come overwatch two e delete fa stepovia punyakov nachin sporetep na Разбирания на Blizzard за това какво трябва да представлява Overwatch. Според мен е, има аудитория за игри като Overwatch. И аз започнах да обясня, че мисля, че има аудитория за игри като Overwatch и има аудитория за игри като Battle Royale. Има хора, които харесват Battle Royale, но има хора, които харесват и други игри. And that there's people that like Battle Royale, and obviously there's people that like other games. И те, хора, които харесват Hero Shooter игрите, според мен са били доста разочаровани по схемата. And how there's a lot of people that really like hero shooters, and a lot of these people are really disappointed over the last few years. I love how my YouTube video is playing in the background. Uh, and that um, they got disappointed because Overwatch didn't really get many updates. And the other variant is Valorant. And that with Overwatch 2, a lot of people are gonna come back, probably. Uh, people that like the hero shooter genre, if Overwatch 2 succeeds, of course. And here I was, you know, pointing out that Valorant is maybe a hero shooter, but it's a really different type of hero shooter. It's much slower. Но тя е много различна от колкото Overwatch. Тя е напълно различна, Overwatch е доста по-бърза игра. Valorant е като CS с герой, а това е повече като Team Fortress. В смисъл тя е по-мобилна. Аз бях как, да, Valorant е много различна. Overwatch е по-мобилна, 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 по-м
when these other games get these updates a lot more often for free and they get the full experience without having to give them any amount of money because the 40 dollars or the 40 euros it's a lot of money for bulgarian standards and i was like especially in bulgaria i think it's a big issue uh, that was explained uh, here I'm going to give you a personal experience of mine if I go to a personal friend of mine let's play Overwatch if I go to them and I ask them want to play Overwatch with me and he's like I don't have Overwatch and I'm like buy it and he's like well how much and then i'm like yeah it's 40 euros he's not gonna pay those 40 euros right you know what i mean like why would you pay these 40 euros if you go to any friend and you say let's play this game it costs 40 euros they're not gonna play the game with you because it costs a lot of money and on launch it was 60. and if i tell him to play valorant and if they say right you know, um, if you want to play Valorant, does it cost anything? I'm like, no, he's a lot more willing to even try the game in the first place. So, I say, no, he will be like, yeah, okay. And that brings a lot more people. And I was explaining, you know, that is going to attract a lot more people. I think it's a huge issue that Overwatch is still paid. You know, you still need to pay the, car uh, the game to actually play it. I think it's a massive issue. I think it will always be an issue. If you want to make this game really popular, you need to not have it be a fully priced title, right? It is a big mistake. You're alienating a lot of audiences. And especially a lot of younger audiences. A lot of kids. And kids make up most of the gaming, you know, infrastructure. Hmm. I was like, not everyone can afford this, this amount of money. I was like, these six euros are not, a, they're not a small amount of money, you know, they're, they're quite big, right? It's quite a lot of money, six euros is quite the, the amount. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, kids have to go to their children, uh, <laughs> children, to their parents and be like, yeah, you know, um, can you buy me this game for 60 euros? And they're like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> and here she asks me about the second part and if we know anything about the second part to which i answer we don't really know anything a hundred percent and i think that's also a huge issue <laughs> Потенциално добър ход да сложат мултиплеер частта, тази в която позволява играчите да се сблъскат един с друг безплатно, а този допълнителен PVE компонент, който Here he was like asking me about, you know, what do I think is going to be the pricing? What do I think is going to happen? Uh, do we have to pay for the PvP uh, part, you know, of the game? Do we have to pay for the PvE one? What's going to happen? And yeah, uh, talking about Rocket League, I think every game that went free to play got a lot more success than before it went free to play. Back in the day, free to play games weren't the most popular ones, but you know they were still popular. But you know, with Fortnite, Valorant, Apex, Hearthstone, you know, all of these games are free to play, and it really shows because it it drags you in. The whole concept of it being free to play it drags you in, right? It pulls you in. And you get addicted to it. And then you're going to inevitably spend money. There is really people I know that have spent, that haven't spent a single dime on League. Like people that actually play a lot of League. that haven't spent a single dime in Fortnite or any free to play game. Right? It is, you, you will give them money and you will overpay than the, uh, you pay more than the initial cost of the game. Not to mention there's people that spend hundreds upon thousands of dollars for, uh, for the game. What is this video? It's an interview on Bulgarian News with me, with your boy Boer. And I'm uh, translating it. 
кампания и за който безспорно а, самата компания, така да го кажа, е хвърлила много повече ресурси и финансови и така нататък, отколкото до развиването на мултиплеер компонента. Това да е сложено зад финансовата бариера на 40 или 60 евро или колкото реша да бъде. Да. Ами, според мен е като цяло... М- не се знае точно какво иска да направи. Looking so hot, thank you. Ворика, кой... uh, here I basically explain, you know, that nobody really knows what the pricing in Overwatch 2 will be. Ама те не са готови напълно да обявят каква е идеята, каква е схема. And nobody is really ready to actually discuss the how is the game going to be monetized. Hello, crazy boy. Mm-hmm. No, според мен аз бих заложил, че играта ще бъде безплатна, защото... And that I would personally bet that the game is gonna go free to play. Microsoft наскоро купиха Activision. Yes, and Microsoft, that Microsoft is gonna it. buy Activision. Microsoft bought Activision and they understand the concept of free to play and how much value there is in free to play. А uh, гейминг аудиторията на някаква степен и разбира, че най-атрактивната опция е да е безплатна играта mm-hmm. и вече PV компонента да е платен. Така ти, те ще заребят много хора, и те хора ще заребят в играта и с някакви, оп, защо и да не дам за тая PV секция повече пари. И така ще тече. And here I was explaining that if you get people addicted to the PVP section that is gonna be free to play, there's a high chance that they're gonna pay for a PVE section because everyone else is playing it. And why shouldn't you? You wanna play with your favorite characters more and you wanna see what's going on there, right? Чегат в крайна сметка повече и я ще спечеля повече, защото ще имам по-голяма аудитория. И второто е, а, аз съм почти сигурен, че за хората, които претеждават Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2 ще бъде напълно безплатна за тях. And here was explaining how Overwatch 1, if you own Overwatch 1, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna get Overwatch 2 for free, probably. Тях, защото доколкото съм чул, а, Overwatch 2 ще замени Overwatch 1. And from what I know and understand, Overwatch 2 will replace Overwatch 1. В крайна сметка, няма да има Overwatch 2 Overwatch 2. Overwatch There 2 won't be two different, games. Two different games. Overwatch 1 и всички, които притежават играта, ще притежават и втората игра, а PV сегмента, доколкото знам, ще бъде потен. Но, no. на 100% не знаем. Това And е uh, you know, I end this entire discussion with me saying I don't know. I, I'm really not sure at the end of the day. Прямо с Blizzard сегмента, те не са успели да комуникират с нас. And that Blizzard is not able to communicate with us for some reason. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, Kaba. Appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Prime Gaming. Two months. God bless. First sub of the day. Каква е идеята? Да, за съжаление, голям препани камък пред Overwatch 2 е комуникацията, какво точно представлява самата игра, защото... Thank you, appreciate it. Реалността е, че втората част е изцяло заменя първата, както казва Бого, и мултиплеер компонента и това, което ам, игра е той доминантно и която е състезателна. And here, you know, he's talking about what I basically said and how Overwatch 2 is going to replace Overwatch 1 PvP and stuff. And la 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 la. And it's going to be a free-to-play upgrade. Плаща се единствено PvP компонента, който е, може би, по-интересен, така или иначе, на по-възрастна, на една по-платежоспособна, така ще му нарека аудитория, по-кежуал. And how PV is going to be more popular for the more casual community or people that have more money that can pay for it. Докато така върлия PVP компонент, в който се състезават играчите, ще бъде по-атрактивен за по-младите участници в Overwatch и за хората, които може би нямат свободни... And how the PVP... I look so done. I look so done. Holy fuck. I'm really bad at faking interest. I think I look so done. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, he was basically repeating what I said. Или които така или иначе има толкова много избор на пазара на игрите, че да не бъде за тях атрактивно да слагат 40 евро за една втора част. Нещо, което се заговорихме по-рано е, че Overwatch попада в тъй наречената категория на Hero Shooter. Here he talks about the Hero Shooter, you know, like, what is the Hero Shooter? I think he asks me... Oh no, he explains what the Hero Shooters are. Like how it has different heroes with different, you know, abilities and stuff. And he was explaining how it's not a genre by itself, but it's more like, it's usually a mix of multiple genres at once, like Valorant, for example, or Apex. Няма да казвам с козметични способности, но със сигурност не са толкова силни изявени, колкото са тук в Overwatch. Имаме Apex, където... Е, може... 
Да. Аз мисля, че тези хора, които имат проблем с това, това не е аудиторията. Това си ми харесва. Към и когато ултимата ще определи развоя на си ми харесва. Аз като пробвах бета версия. Да, ще е basically explains that she really liked playing Overwatch. I don't know if she's faking it or not, but she seemed genuinely excited playing Overwatch and she kind of enjoyed it. No, I wasn't asked to promote or watch. I didn't really promote it. I kind of just discussed it. I was called in to discuss uh, or watch too. Yes. Gradvan <laughs> said. No, that's why problems are no horror. No, I think that they are horror who have problems with that. That's not the auditory. And I was basically. Хубаво ли е да са толкова силни тези абилитита? And he was basically you no know, asking me. Do I think it's a good thing that so many abilities are so strong? The game is so. Ability based and stuff, and is it gonna push away the audience? And I basically answered that like this game is its own game, and if people don't like the fact that abilities dictate the game and the style of the game and all the heroes and different classes and stuff, that's not the game for them. Like, why are you even complaining in the first place? That was literally my answer. Like, if you're not happy with these things and it causes a problem for you, this is not the game for you to play. Акцент, акцент, да акцент на, на това абилитета да са ясно изявени и да променят играта по масивен начин. Mm. Самите герои не са м- един и същи тип като в CS. Не са един и същи тип като в CS. Не са един и същи тип като в CS. Не са един и същи В крайна сметка играта се опитва да заинтересува точно една определена група хора. And I was like, it's trying to pull in a specific group of people, right? And that they succeeded at doing that in the beginning. And I explained that basically the game was really big in the beginning because of that exact reason, because it managed to pull in that specific audience and create so many big personalities on Overwatch. Twitch. Overwatch was an extremely, extremely, extremely big game. And that Overwatch was a really, really big game. And that these people that really like these kind of games are still there and are still waiting on something, something new to come in to, you know, scratch that itch. Да се върнат назад във времето и пак да се радват на играта, която толкова много обичат. Със сигурност ще се върне някаква част от аудиторията на тази игра. No. Със сигурност привлякохте и един нов играч. Again, she says no. that uh, she is willing to, like, she is interested in the game. Това е сигурно, понеже виждам надписа, който отдолу... And here they ask me about me being in Bulgaria's Got Talent. Because uh, I've been to Bulgaria, mm-hmm. Bulgaria's Got Talent when I was younger, in 2015, I think, or 2017. I think it's 2015. Not sure. And here I basically explained that I've been to Bulgaria's Got Talent, that I went there with, a, with my theater troupe, you know, with uh, puppets and stuff. And I explained the entire concept of these things and things too interesting um, for gamers. And how I traveled Bulgaria and I played in a lot of places and I played in uh, a lot of scenes and uh, it was really fun. Yeah. A lot of stages. And yeah, that's it. I don't know. I hope, uh, I hope it was fun for you guys. Why is there twice? Why? Anyways, thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was entertaining. I kind of felt like I didn't explain things really well or not in an interesting manner, but it was pretty late in the night, so I was pretty exhausted myself. I have exams and stuff, so I've been working on my school project. And if you really like this video, just share it around or just show it to other people or just, you know, like it, comment, you know, the gist, you know how things go, subscribe to the channel and you should check out my Discord and my Twitch. Thank you a lot and have a nice day. Gdzie biały węgorz? Ja pierdolę, ale mam z jasnych chwytach gwiazd jak chłoda leże Nie wierzę, co się dzieje, jak kura z głodu pieje Jak wilkołak do księżyca, w głowie dziury, jak ulica, przed